What's up everybody, I'm Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine. Today's video, smoked tri-tip with a red wine reduction sauce. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to cook authentic Cajun cuisine, comfort food, and just about anything for that matter, then you've come to the right place. Click the subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now today's video, smoked tri-tip with the red wine reduction sauce. This is a collaboration video that I'm doing with my boy Alton from the Dogfather Barbecue. I'm gonna leave his link down below. I'll also leave it in the card up here. There's also a hashtag right above the title of this video. Click on that hashtag. It's gonna bring you to a playlist of all the people that participated in this collaboration. Everybody had to do something with tri-tip. The only stipulation was that it had to be cooked on a grill. That's exactly what we did. I went ahead and smoked it on my Weber kettle. Let's go ahead and get to the kitchen and I'll show you that whole process. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get started with this tri-tip. First thing we wanna do is I'm gonna inject it with my homemade Creole butter injection which I will leave a link in the description below and also leave a card up here. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, sprinkle this rub, which is a uh, homemade rub. And I'll also leave a link in the description and also a card up top to a video I did just on this rub. So let's go ahead and get started and inject our tri-tip. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. And so what I wanna do is uh, inject, and as I inject, pull the needle out. If you could see that. And we're just adding some flavor, man, now. I have seen some people say you don't inject beef, brisket, tri-tip. But I've also seen some guys do just that. Look at Harry Souf. Check out his tri-tip video. He injects tri-tip. I um, attended a live session that T-Roy Cooks had on a Tuesday. He usually does his on Tuesdays. And I actually asked him his thoughts on injecting or not injecting beef, per se, tri-tip, right? And even, uh, he said pretty much what I thought he was gonna say, to each his own. You wanna inject it, inject it. You don't, you don't. I'm injecting. All right, so a few more here. And then we'll be done. So basically, I was gonna marinate this, but instead, I'm just gonna inject it. And this is not the first dry tip I've ever injected, but it has been a while, and it is stinking delicious. I think that's good. Put this to the side. And so now what I wanna do, let's go ahead and give it this rub. I'm gonna sprinkle liberally. I wanna get a pretty even coat here. And I'm only gonna go with this single rub here. I'm not gonna go with two or three different ones. This pretty much has everything I want in it. Don't think I did different than the video showing how I made this rub was I doubled the, um, pepper flake and added about probably a teaspoon more of salt. Gotta get the sides here, get the ends. I wanna go ahead and coat this up real good. All right, flip this over. Back side. I 
All right. Looks pretty good. Give it a good pat. Flip it over. So now I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit. Um, however long it takes for me to get the grill up to temp. Let these flavors just kind of marinate in this tri-tip. And then uh, I'll see you guys outside when it's time to put it on. All right, so our grill came up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that tri-tip on. I'm gonna smoke it with a little bit of apple wood. It's nice and mild. I don't want anything too strong because I don't want anything to overpower the flavor that we're going for at the end with that red wine reduction sauce. So let's go ahead and throw that tri-tip on and I'll catch you back here in a few. All right, so the tri-tip's on. I'm gonna try to hold the temp of the grill to about 250. Uh, we're gonna pull this tri-tip when the internal temp hits 130. Uh, my family and I, we like our tri-tip medium. Uh, the wife and kids are not gonna touch it if it's medium rare. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook mine up to a medium. You guys make sure you pull your tri-tip at the temp to the doneness that you want. If you want medium rare, you need to pull it lower temp. If you want it well done, then you know, you pull it at a higher temp. Um, so I'm going to pull mine at 130, and then I'm actually going to sear it inside in a pan so I can get a nice fond and make that red wine reduction sauce. All right, so the temperature gauge is going off. That means the tri-tip has come up to a temperature of 130, right where I want it. I'm going to go ahead, take it off, bring it inside. We're going to sear it in a pan, and then we're going to start making our red wine reduction sauce. pan on the medium heat. A little bit of oil in there. As you can tell, it's starting to smoke. Let's go ahead and throw that tri-tip in there. Yeah, that's what we want, baby. Go ahead and get some nice color on this tri-tip. Don't want to take too long. I just want to Get some nice color on it. I'm gonna flip it here in a second. Hopefully we'll get some nice fond, some nice little sticky bits on the bottom. And that way we can deglaze it with some red wine and some yumminess and make this reduction sauce really good here in a few. All right, it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and flip it here. If I can. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Satisfied with that. What I really want is that dark stuff you see on the bottom here. That's what I'm going for. I want that fine. That's going to make this sauce just so much better, man. Go ahead and sear this side. About two minutes or so. We're going to pull it and let it rest. Be right back. All right, it's been a couple minutes. I think we got this seared on that side. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Pretty good there. So that's all I want. That's what I want right there. Let's go ahead and pull this off. We're gonna come back, deglaze that pan. Mm mm mm. It's gonna be good stuff, y'all. All right, so here we go. I got some shallots. I'm gonna throw in here. I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze this pan. I have some Cabernet. And I'm going to put about a cup and a half or so of Cabernet in here. There we go. I'm just going to let that cook down. I'm going to deglaze the pan with that. I'm going to go ahead and throw some garlic in there. Good tablespoon of garlic. Nice few sprigs of thyme and rosemary. Let's go ahead and get that all yummy. Get those bits off the bottom here. Mm, this is gonna be good, man. So what we're gonna end up doing now is gonna let this reduce. I want this to reduce to almost like a syrup consistency. And then from there, we'll add a little stock, get it back up to a, to a sauce. We'll add some butter and then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, I've been cooking this down for probably about two and a half minutes. 
You can tell it's nowhere near a syrup consistency, but what I want to do now is take out the thyme and the rosemary. I've gotten the flavor I want out of it. I don't want it to be too overpowering, so I'm going to go ahead, take it out, and then uh, we're going to continue to reduce this down until I can run a spoon across and you can see the bottom of the pan. And we are not even close to being there yet. So uh, I'll come back when we're ready. All right, this has been reducing. And as you can tell, I can run my spoon through it. You can still see the bottom of the pan. It is thickened up nice. It looks pretty black here, but trust me, that is from the wine and the fond. But this is going to be some good stuff. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add about a cup and a half of beef uh, stock. And what we're going to do is let this reduce as well. Not as much. So I'm not looking for a syrup consistency, but I am looking to thicken it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let this reduce some. Then we're going to strain it. And then uh, put it back in the pan. And then we'll start adding a little bit of butter and get it, make a nice sauce to go over our tri-tip. Be right back. All right, so we went ahead and took that sauce, passed it through a fine mesh strainer into the saucepan. Now I have a half a stick of butter that is uh, still cold. I just cut into cubes. This pan has not been on the heat. What you see, uh, all that steam that's coming up, that's just from the sauce. Like I said, we went straight from the pan that we cooked it in into the saucepan through a fine mesh strainer. Now we're just adding some cold butter to it, about a half a stick or so. We're gonna whisk it in here until it's all well incorporated. It's important that you use cold butter because the cold butter will emulsify into this sauce. And so once we get that half a stick of butter nice and melted and whisked in there, that's gonna be our final product to go over our tri-tip. All right, our tri-tip's been resting for about 20 minutes or so. We're gonna go ahead and cut this baby in half. I wanna see what it looks like here. I'm going for that medium, uh, well, not medium well, but medium. Oh, look at that. That's almost medium rare. Let's hope the wife and kids don't mind. Let's see what this other side looks like. Oh my Lord, look at the juice coming out of that baby. All right, let me get a little, let me get a little piece, a little sample right here. Let me cut the end off here and see what we're working with. That looks good. Oh my lord, dude, the, the flavor coming off of this tri-tip is just ridiculous between the injection and the rub. That rub has a nice little bit of spice to it. We're gonna go ahead and slice this up and then I'm gonna plate it up, and then uh, I'll see you then. All right, so I went ahead and sauteed some fresh green bean with onion, garlic, and bacon. I made a uh, Parmesan garlic potato puree. Now we're gonna go ahead and drizzle that red wine reduction over this tri-tip. This looks amazing. I can't wait to dig into this. That sauce turned out way better than I was expecting. I knew it was good. I've had it in different places before. I've never made it to this specific recipe, but let me tell you something, was not disappointed. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish this up with a little freshly chopped parsley. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, smoked tri-tip with a red wine reduction sauce. Let me tell you something, that sauce turned out crazy good. You have gotta try this recipe, don't forget, Leave me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video, if you liked it or not. Like I said earlier, this is a collaboration. There's a hashtag above the title of this video. Make sure you click on that at the end of this video. Go check out everybody else's uh, tri-tip recipes. Show them some love. Subscribe to their channels. These guys know what they're doing uh, a lot more than I do when it comes to grilling and stuff like that. So the second video this week is going to be another collaboration with my friends at Just88.com. I'll leave their links down below. It's going to be a smoothie inspired by the cocktail in, from New Orleans called Hurricane. You're not going to miss that. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that video. I'll catch you guys then.